Hello, my friends. Welcome once again to Faith Walk 101. We are so glad that you could join us. You want to have a strong, God-fearing family? Set your affections on things above, not on the things of this earth. Colossians chapter 3, verse 2. Most Christians don't really have their affections set on heaven. And when you and your family set your affections on the things above, you're going to find yourself separated um, from a lot of people because there's a lot of people in this world that have their affections on this world. And surprisingly and sadly enough, a lot of Christians have all their affections. Everything is centered on this world. The Bible tells us in Matthew 6, 33, Seek ye first the kingdom of God, and all these things will be added on to you. Many people have made this world their kingdom. <laughs> I hope that's not you. Because as Christians, the Bible tells us that our home is in heaven. That's why families are failing. People are stressing. And this world is perishing. First John chapter 2, verse 17. But whosoever does the will of God lives forever. Amen. Proverbs 3, 5 says, Trust in the Lord and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he will direct your footsteps. My friends, we must trust him. Seek him. Set your affections on things above. When we can envision our home, when we can understand where we're going and how this all turns out, then we're able to tell others about the hope that lies within us. The reason why we can't tell people about heaven and our home that's to come and being with him is because we can't envision it. This world is perishing. And that's why a lot of people are failing. They're stressing because they're trying to get comfortable in a world that's failing. It's confusing. But whosoever does the will of the Father lives forever. That's a good reason to teach your family the strong Christian values. Because you live forever. You will see them forever. Not only in this life, but the next one. People are putting all they've got into this world that's perishing. When you really come to understand and embrace that this world is really not your home, when you really come to understand that, we find that in Hebrews chapter 13, verse 14, you will begin to teach and train your family uh, that this world is perishing. Uh, also, you'll see that many people, many people, including Christians, are pursuing the things of this world with everything they got. Rags to riches is the goal of most of this human race. The Bible tells us narrow is the way and there are few that will find their way. And we find it in Matthew chapter 10, I mean, chapter 7, verses 13 and 14. It's a narrow path. Uh, God's standards, his principles, godly wisdom. It's very narrow. And very, people, very few people will choose that narrow path. Most will choose to be in with the crowd, the big crowd, the wide gate. And that's where they're giving up their peace. When we seek that narrow path, when we trust Christ, when we allow the Spirit of God to lead us, what we experience is the peace that passes all understanding. You want to have a strong, godly, God-fearing family? Teach them to set their affections on things above and not to love this world. This world does not love you. This world hates you because it hated Jesus. It hates the standards. It hates godly principles. This is how you train and teach uh, believers to have a strong, God-fearing family. Set your affections on things above. And I know it's difficult because we live in this world with a lot of distractions. God doesn't want us to not have anything. He wants us to be able to provide for our families. But we don't want to put all out, chase all the things of this world. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and he, all these things will be added to you. If God owns all of this world, then what is it that he can't give you? 
wherever you at in your situation now, God is allowing it so that you can minister to those around you because nothing can take our eternal salvation from us. And the mission that we have as believers is to advance the gospel wherever we're at. Uh, wherever we are, God has already equipped us with the Spirit of God that lives inside of us to minister to those around us. Continue to join us on Faith Walk 101 as we talk more about how we are separated from the world, how this is so important. We cannot let the world inside of us because once it does, it distracts us and there goes our peace. Continue to join us on Faith Walk 101.